It was important to meet in person so there can be no mistake about or misrepresentations about what I wanted to communicate. I did what I came to do. I talked about the proposition that certain critical infrastructure should be off limits to attack, period, by cyber or any other means. I gave them a list. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have it in front of me, 16 specific entities, 16 defined as critical infrastructure under U.S. policy, from the energy sector to our water systems. Of course, the principle is one thing. It has to be backed up by practice. His credibility worldwide shrinks. Let's get this straight. How would it be if the United States were viewed by the rest of the world as interfering with the elections directly of other countries and everybody knew it? What would it be like if we engage in activities that he is engaged in? It diminishes the standing of a country that is desperately trying to make sure it maintains its standing as a major world power. I pointed out to him, we have significant cyber capability. And he knows it. He doesn't know exactly what it is, but it's significant. And if, in fact, they violate these basic norms, we will respond. Cyber. He knows in the cyber way. I don't think he's looking for a Cold War with the United States. I don't think it's about, a, as I said to him, I said, your generation and mine are about 10 years apart. This is not a kumbaya moment, as he used to say back in the 60s in the United States, like, let's hug and love each other. But it's clearly not in anybody's interest, your country's or mine, for us to be in a situation where we're in a new Cold War.